And if I look at the march of anti-constitutionalist parties and parties that are very market unfriendly, I think what I would like to see happening is constitutionalists and people who believe in, uh, in, in, uh, in the market to be able to join hands and form a bulwark against the radical policies of the anti-constitutionalists, which I think will have devastating consequences for South Africa's economy, its democracy, and its socio-economic fabric were they to get into power. So is that putting the EFF aside then, putting the MK aside? Correct. I think that if one looks at what they campaigned on, nationalization, abolition of private property ownership, uh, MK campaigned to scrap the constitution, to replace the judiciary with a sovereign mm -hmm. parliament, these are all deeply anti-democratic, uh, anti-progress right. um, uh, policies. And uh, we would stand completely against those. So if, if that is sort of where you draw the line, what is the permutation then in your mind that would be the most beneficial for this economy right now? Well, is it I, a DA, a, a, a and C? Well, I think it's, I, I definitely think it is a coming together of the constitutionalists and there are, there are a variety of options. Is that the DA options. and the ANC? Yeah, it's a DA, mind? the ANC, it's the IFP, it's the Freedom Front Plus, okay. it's one of the plethora of other parties that exist there. But it's definitely important that the constitutionalists stand together now Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to the anti-constitutionalists taking control, and I think that would be the worst possible option for South Africa going forward. So what we are facing as the DA is a variety of, of worse options than an MPC outright win, mm -hmm. but we're going to have to, amongst those options, select the least worst one. Are you confident that that can actually happen? I'm confident if there's maturity. If what does that mean, though? Well, I, mean, I think it's being able to accept that you, in, within a coalition environment, which the voters of South Africa have chosen, the, the voters' determination that no party got a majority, mm -hmm. that you are able to find common areas, that you're not going to get everything you want out of a negotiation, that your entire manifesto is not going to be the, 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 the complete uh, focus of a new government, and that there are going to be areas where you've got to compromise on, but you've also got to understand that there are red lines. Mm -hmm. The DA is not desperate to get into government for government's sake. We will do it if it is the best way to prevent mm. a anti-constitutionalist takeover, but we're very comfortable sitting on the opposition benches if, if that is the requirement. We've done it for 30 years, we've done it very well, and it's, that's also an option that's not off the table.